And there's a few principles when you break out bold that you have to understand. One of those is don't look in the mirror. A mirror is not a true reflection of who you are. It does not measure your worth or your value. When you look in the mirror, it reflects an exact image of who you are. But that's not your gifting. Your gifting is inside of you with that encouraging voice, and you're testing it, and you're testing it, and you're being encouraged. You're taking positive cues, and your passion is a pathway to destiny. You don't listen and watch and accept what the mirror says to you. You've got a big nose. You've got big ears. You're fat. You're tall. You're skinny. You're short. You've got, uh, uh, your skin color is wrong. You might have a blemish on your face. You might have a mole. Those don't define you. Your gift will define you. And nowadays, with the mobile phone and the smartphone, it's even worse. It's a, it's a total distraction. Because you can take a picture. Yeah, sure, that looks like you. But if you're not happy, what do you do? You filter it. You fix it. You publish it. People like it. If they don't like it, you change the color of the filter. You constantly change it because you don't like what the mirror says to you. It's like the evil queen and the mirror. She'd go to the magic mirror and say, hey, uh, who's the most beautiful woman in the world? And the mirror would say, ah, it's you, queen. And then one day the queen goes up to the mirror and says, hey, mirror, who's the most beautiful woman in the world? And she says, well, you're kind of cute, but there's a maiden down the lane and she is fairer than you. Well, the queen went crazy. She went nuts. Imagine if she had a mobile phone. She would have tweeted all of her minions, and she would have destroyed Snow White and ran her out of town. And it would have been the evil queen and the seven dwarfs. It would have been a horrible movie. Good thing Disney stuck to Snow White. And she didn't look in the mirror. 